Alrighty, straight to the point here. I will be fixing my coil wine for my PS5. This is the big kind. I will be taking it fully apart. I won't be showing it in a video because I recommend watching Tronics Fix uh, Three Stage Cleaning. It's called How to Clean Your PS5 in Three Stages. So you can know exactly which screws you'd have to take off and the two screws you'd have to leave in to keep the motherboard and the heatsink clamped together. I will be using uh, liquid tape, uh, liquid electrical tape from uh, GB, Gardner Bender. Uh, I use this stuff on a lot of things and uh, I'm pretty sure this will work really well because he used uh, silicone on the other videos. And that stuff doesn't get as hard as this stuff, but it does get pretty hard. I think they'd be almost the same consistency. But I'm just trying to dampen the sound. I'm not trying to totally eliminate it like he did. So, I won't be posting all the teardown. I will be using my screwdrivers. You need these types of screwdrivers, like the, uh, what is this? Um, well, it's like the T8 Torx and like little flatheads and uh, what is it? Um, Phillips. Yeah. I have uh, alcohol and uh, Q-tips toothbrush stuff just to clean the heat sinks and all the dust. So in the next little video I'll have it all taken apart and uh, me putting the liquid tape on there. I won't be actually showing a video of how it sounds later on because I can't have it running for about 12 hours at least so I'm going to have it off till lunchtime tomorrow. So come tomorrow I'll let people know how it sounds. But this is the video of me just taking it apart and I'll have the heat sink, I meant the power supply out and uh, took it apart and I'll cake the certain capacitors with this shit. And um, yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video and the next part, see you in the next one. Okay, part two, I um, took in the whole shell off, everything, all the screws, I took my poor little warranty, no more warranty, uh, took off the one ribbon cable that's like, after I got this black shell off, this part, I took this uh, ribbon cable off, pressed down, and then pull it, pull it off. You press down on the metal tab. There's two screws I wanted to show people, just in case you need to watch uh, Tronics Fix um, three-stage uh, cleaning tutorial. So you don't take these two off. There'll be these two right there. And they have little arrows on them, and they're right on the motherboard themselves. Right there and right there. You don't take those two off. But everything else, you disconnect all the little cords, uh, take off all the screws, there's 41 or 42 of them, all the silver screws, so you can uh, pull this up, and then there will be two screws in the back, you'll have to take off, there's two in the back somewhere. Um, Tronics Fix video is, I highly recommend it, so you can know exactly what you're doing, but uh, this is um, what I have to do to get at the... Um, coil, or I meant the, the coil, the capacitors that are inside of the PSU that's underneath there. So, uh, see you in the next one after I get it all apart and I have the PSU taken out. And be careful with the PSU because it's highly electrical. Uh, I'm going to be very careful. I don't want to get shocked. I don't want to ruin it. So, it's one thing you really got to be careful with. Maybe I'll even just let it sit for a while and let electricity die out in it, even though it stays in there for a while. Uh, but yeah, see you in the next part. Ready? Um, I have the PSU out. I'll have to take these two screws off and take it apart. And I'm kind of sketched out because it's so electrical and I don't want to get shocked or shock it and ruin it. I'm so sketchy on this part. But I'll have to take this apart and then I'll show you where I put this on. The liquid electrical tape. Yes, the good stuff. Yeah, waterproof, seals, insulates, whatever. It even says insulates, yeah. Insulator, insulates, and protects. But that's the stuff. I cleaned my heatsink out, which was not even that dirty at all because I keep my systems clean as good as I can, like as best as I possibly can, man. I'm really intricate about stuff like that. And I couldn't get this off. Look this thing was attached to the front of the casing like see this rim I didn't want to peel that plate apart I couldn't peel the plate apart there's a ribbon cable connected to this to the motherboard but you could just pull this whole piece off with the motherboard just grab them both and be carefully lift them out of the casing piece and then uh, put it all to uh, 
put it all right there, whatever. Dusted it off, cleaned it, now I just gotta take this apart and I'll show you what I where I'm gonna put the the liquid tape. Alright, see you in the last part of the video coming up. Alrighty, I did it. Man, that was a pain, man. Like getting this shell off, like prying that apart was hard. Like that was a lot trickier. I had to use like this really hard piece of plastic and like and pry it apart after I got the screws off. So that's a tricky part. And I did it all without even touching the, without even touching any of that. That's all probably still electrified. And I'm sketched out to shit. And those are the two capacitors, those two blue ones. Yeah, there's only two cubes there. Yeah, those are the ones. Those are the ones that make the buzzing, humming sound. So, I will be putting this in between them, in between the crack, all the way around it. Just, yeah, I'm just going to coat them, maybe put some in between there too. But you'll see how it's done when I'm done here. I have another little part of the video after I'm done applying, so... Let's see how it do goes, man. Hopefully no big shock happens or anything. We'll find out. Cool. Alrighty, I um, coated it, and it's kind of sloppy. I'm clean up some of this rubber. It's still liquidy. It'll it'll get hard in like f five minutes, ten minutes. The stuff gets pretty hard. And didn't I, I didn't touch anything else? I ain't touching anything with my fingers, man. I'm I'm fucking scared to get shocked. But yeah, I'm just cleaning this off. Uh, just cleaning off around it. I kind of squished it right in between the crack between the two capacitors. Hopefully they don't get super freaking hot. That's kind of something I was worried about too. It's like, will it get really fucking hot? Pardon my French. Don't Pardon my swearing. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't get really hot. It's one thing I'm really worried about. But I want to cake them really good so that I even got it in between the red thing, the red capacitor, whatever that is, and the... Uh, the two two blue capacitors squished it right down to the bottom pretty much I squished it down with a what is that like a guitar pick I have like millions of them from because I fix phones and I fix PS4s and I do all sorts of stuff like this but yeah my PS5 those, those are I'm gonna let them harden for like 15 minutes all I caked it all the way around even on the back side like I got, kinda got some of that goo on the that other capacitor thingy there whatever transformer type thing uh, but yeah I'm not touching anything with my fingers nothing with elect with like a metal it's like see the screw man I'm not gonna try touch anything like that like I don't want to touch it metal to metal I don't want to get zapped I don't want to ruin it but yeah uh, cake it full of this stuff the stuff stinks man it stinks like uh, paint thinner like uh, contact cement so this stuff's really stinky so Try not to breathe it in too much. Uh, clean up around here. But yeah, I have it on there. See that? I'm gonna try uh, dampen my freaking coil line, man. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna put another coat on later, and then I'll end the video there. And then I'll let you guys know in the comments tomorrow, or if you have any questions, like just don't be afraid to ask. Um. I'll try answer to the best of my ability. Oh, look at that. They got the old school uh, type fuse in there. You remember those things? <laughs> I just realized that. They got the old school type right there, man. Those are freaking from the 70s. Those ones. Have you ever seen those? I don't know. People probably don't really remember. But they were in TVs and radios and PCRs and stuff like that. But the, the, the ones that had glass and you can take them out. These ones are kind of soldered in. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Caking these like right in between the crease all the way down. I'm just going to let it harden for like maybe half an hour or an hour. It gets pretty hard pretty fast. See, it's already like getting glossy, like a matte gloss. It's hardening. It's hardening. You'll probably touch it. Just kidding. Don't touch it. Um, yeah, I caked it right in there. It's hard to see, but I caked it right down to the bottoms trying to get it. I could go right to the circuit board, like, uh, maybe I would, yeah, I'll go right to the board, a little bit on each side, and then I'll show you the video of how it looks in the next little part, And but, uh, yeah, don't be afraid to ask any questions, uh, what you, what you think, because this is what makes the buzzing sound in your PS5, 
like you always hear that the fan you know, people always wonder and i know it's not the fan it's those two freaking things but thanks to tronics fix man i want to give a shout out to tronics fix that dude's amazing he's smart as shit and uh probably couldn't have done it without him to take the whole thing apart because I, d I usually watch videos on how to do that kind of stuff before I even fiddle with stuff like that even though I'm really smart I could probably do it myself but it's always good to see somebody else do it first so that's one thing so um, I'll show you guys in the next video I'm gonna cake it some more and then you'll see how freaking globbed globbed up it will have them and uh, then I'm gonna put it all back together and uh, I'll let you guys know tomorrow afternoon how uh, quiet it is no more buzzing hopefully it works <laughs> hopefully I didn't ruin anything but yeah capacitors are getting caked globbing them up with some uh, liquid electrical tape stinky stuff I forgot to tell people this stuff's like stenches man but uh, yeah so far so good see you in the next little bit Alrighty, last chunk of video here. Um, it's globbed right up. I'm going to be putting the PS5 back together here, ASAP mode, and uh, just going to let it sit overnight. I'll check it out tomorrow morning, maybe 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, let it harden for a good over 14, 15 hours, because it's about 6 right now. So it'll harden a good yeah, 15 hours, and yeah. I'll let you guys know how it is. Let me know any questions you got in the comments section. Um, big shout out to uh, Tronix Fix for making his videos and giving me all the information I needed to take apart my system and fiddle with it. And yeah, hope you all have a good day. If it works good, this is the stuff to get. If it works good, man, I have a good feeling it'll work good though. So yeah, <laughs> let me know. Let me all, let me know, y'all. <laughs> Have a good day, and uh, peace.